children a welcome to this online field trip I'm Sam and this is Rob our expert guide and grower for today hi, hello Sam. Rob hi Sam all right yeah cool thank you for I'll say cool it's quite hot in here we'll explain why in a minute um, so today we're in St Albans which is in the south of England and we're here to learn all about crunchy peppers now you may have noticed we are surrounded by huge plants and the reason for this is because we're in the glass house here at the nursery. They stretch all the way down that way as far as the eye can see and either side as well. There are quite a few plants all growing peppers. Uh, so Rob, tell us a little bit more about where we are. We're in a, a nursery in St in Albans. This is a, one of uh, five, uh, five uh, glass houses and uh, he's growing, we're growing peppers, aubergines and uh, cucumbers. Now, there are quite a few plants in here, so how many are there in total? In this one uh, greenhouse there is uh, 64,000 uh, plants. 64,000 plants, that is quite a lot of peppers. This is a lot of peppers. <laughs> now, as I said, um, I did say cool. It is not cool in here at all. It's very hot indeed. Is this important for uh, peppers to grow? It is important to have a good environment for the peppers to grow in, and uh, this is uh, why we have this uh, sort of greenhouse. So some of the children might be thinking, um, I've got a greenhouse in my garden. Is it, is it similar to my greenhouse? This is a little bit different though, isn't it, Bob? Yeah. This is on a grand scale and it's much different too. We've got everything is uh, computerised, so we've got computerised vents, heating, water. So everything is uh, put in the computer and it's uh, automatically done to make the peppers grow as good as possible. So we're not going to see anybody walking around with a watering can anytime soon during this lesson? <laughs> no, you won't see anybody because uh, I think it'll take them a long time. It would take a very long time indeed. OK, so what are we going to learn while we're here inside the glass house? We're going to learn about uh, peppers and uh, bell peppers, uh, different colours peppers which is the orange red yellow and then we uh, which is the normal bell pepper here and then we got uh, sweet bites which is uh, these here these are like snap peppers and then we got uh, some chili peppers which Oh, lovely. You wouldn't want to eat those, you though, wouldn't would you, want to really? Eat those, no. nice. Well, not, not on their own, anyway. You might like to cook them. <laughs> Are we going to take a look as well at how, how they grow um, we're going to take on, a, the, on the plant? We're going to take a look how they grow, um, how, what we do with them, and how we eat them. Lovely. So the whole process, the from whole when process. they're sort of grown from a seed all the way through to the whole in process. our tummies. Uh, the whole process. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. Let's find out who we have taking part on today's online field trip, then. Let's go to our first school, which is St John's International School, who are in Devon, and it's actually Miss Underwood's class who's taking part today. Hello, children. Hi. Great to have you all watching and learning with us today. Let's go over to Colleton School now, who are in Berkshire, and we've got Mrs. Bosley's class taking part. Hello, Mrs. Bosley. Hello, children. Hello. <laughs> Fabulous waves there. Let's go over to Downsbrook School now in Sussex, where we've got Mrs. Green's class taking part. Hello, children. <laughs> They're nice and loud today, Rob. And finally, let's go to Brunswick House in Kent, where Miss Brayford's class is taking part. Hello, children. <laughs> Fabulous stuff. So it's great to have you all watching and learning with us today. We're going to be pepper experts by the end of this lesson. I think first, Rob, we should have a little look at uh, some of the peppers that we have here because we have an array of peppers, don't we? So I do recognise these from my local supermarket. Yeah, these are the common bell pepper. With all lovely colours as well. So yeah. these are great for putting in salads, aren't they? Yeah, and they're very nice in salads, or for cooking, or for stuffing. They're very nice. Or if you're Rob, I've caught you today, just eating it like an apple. Yeah, you can eat them like an apple. It's not a problem. Mm, lovely. It's a good way. I've never eaten them one like that. I might try it. Um, and these look very similar in colour, but different in shape. Yeah, those are like the sweet bite, which are like for, nice for snacking. You can have them in your, uh, your lunch boxes, and uh, you can just eat them just like that. Oh, no fabulous. Yeah, well maybe as, take uh, a little dip or something. Yeah, yeah they're very nice. Great stuff. You wouldn't want to eat these though, no, would no, no, you? No, 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 you wouldn't want to eat them at all. So chili are peppers. Chili peppers. 
Okay, so would these sort of be used to sort of spice things up, maybe curries or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. You would normally use them in curries or uh, uh, things like that. Is you wouldn't really want to eat them raw. Right. Okay. Note taken. I'm not going <laughs> to ever eat one of those raw. And then these look like big giant yeah. chili peppers, these, but I'm guessing they're not as hot. Now these are like Italian sweet pointed peppers. Uh, they're uh, very nice and sweet, and you can use these also as in salads, or you can cook them, and you can or you can stuff them. Oh, brilliant! So your tongue's not going to burn off if no, you eat no, that one. No, no, no. It's nice and sweet. They're Great all sweet. stuff. Okay, fantastic. Well, we are going to learn, as I said, so much more about peppers today. But I do know that some of you have been learning um, using all the resources and information that we do have on the website already so I think we should find out what you already know before we continue with this lesson so let's go over to St John's International School now uh, to find out what you already know. Peppers have over twice the amount of vitamin C than oranges. That's a really good fact but is it right though Rob peppers have over twice the amount of vitamin C as oranges? I know they have more, they more vitamin C than oranges, but I don't know about twice as much. Great learning. Let's go over and get another fact. Pepper in Spanish is pimienta. Oh, fabulous. We have someone speaking Spanish, Rob. So really? Pepper in Spanish is pimienta. That's very good. Very good. Has she taught you something? She's taught me something, yes. Fabulous. She's taught me something as well. That's really great. Thank you for that. I think that was Anna. Let's get one more fact now. Let's go back over to St John's International School. Peppers can come in lots of different colours, including brown, white, light purple and dark purple. That's a really, really good fact. But is this right, Rob, that peppers come in lots of different colours, including brown, white, light purple, dark purple? They come in all different colours. You can have everything like you've got here, plus, like you say, the brown ones, the purple ones, the white ones. But they're all nice and they're all good for you. Fabulous. Quite an exciting uh, uh, fruit then, isn't it, really? It's very exciting. Uh, well done. You've obviously been learning and concentrating very, very hard this week um, when you have been using all the resources that are online. Time for us to learn a little bit more now. So can we take a look at a uh, pepper now, Rob? We've got one in front of us. Can yeah, we take I can show us? you inside the pepper. Yeah. It's quite an interesting shape, isn't it? Is yeah, that it's a bell shape because he, he looks like he hangs on the, on the uh, plant and he, he looks like a bell hanging from the plant. This is why they But it doesn't it. ring. It no, looks like a bell, but you can't ring it. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Whoever named that, honestly, it's a very, very good name for it. OK, so we're going to take a little look inside. We'll see inside it. Uh, we've got uh, plenty of seeds inside there. Fabulous. There. Okay, so there are all the seeds. There are all the seeds. And this was the stalk that was attached to the plant. This is the stalk that's attached to the plant. And then you've got the calyx where the, uh, the petals were. And then from the petal, it, uh, it grew the pepper itself. And this is the bit that we eat, which wow. is the flesh. So this bit here was where the flat, where the petals were? Yes, it was. Right Fantastic. Is. Okay, so, oh wow. So this, this was this. Correct. That is crazy. That's so, so good. And so we would just eat all the orange part of that, would we? We would, yeah. You can eat the, uh, the seeds, but you eat just the orange part. OK, fabulous. OK, so how many peppers would you grow here, Rob? In this, uh, in this one greenhouse, we've probably got, uh, we're going to have about uh, four million fruit uh, by the end of the year. Wow. That's a lot of peppers. It is a lot of peppers wow. yeah. And how long have we been eating peppers in the UK? Well, they were brought over by uh, Christopher Columbus from uh, South America in the 15th century. So a very long time indeed. Do you know why in. they're called peppers? No. <laughs> you no? Didn't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> well, a little birdie tells me that when they were first brought over by Christopher Columbus and the Europeans started eating them, that they they were so sort of peppery, they had that peppery taste, they were quite uh -huh. strong. So they were named after that. Oh, I've learned something new then. Yeah. Oh, God. Very proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> very great. OK, then it's time for our very first video now. And this is all about what type of food peppers are. What is a pepper? Peppers, also known as bell peppers or sweet peppers, were first cultivated as far back as 7000 BC. They originally came from Central America and were first brought to Europe by Christopher Columbus around the 15th century. Peppers can now be found growing in many different countries all around the world. The variety first introduced by Columbus must have been one of the spicier flavours because the Europeans of the time exclaimed that they were as hot as pepper, referring to the black pepper we still season our food with. And that is how peppers got their name. 
And did you know that peppers are not a vegetable, but actually a fruit? In fact, there are lots of foods that we might think are vegetables, like aubergines and butternut squash, but they are fruits too. Peppers, like most fruits, develop from a flower on a plant that looks like this. Once the flower has bloomed, the baby pepper will grow from the centre, the petals will start to drop off, and you can see the fruit begin to emerge. It continues growing and ripening on the plant, turning from green to yellow, orange or red. Sometimes they might even be chocolate coloured or purple. But they all have one thing in common. They are good and tasty to eat. To understand why peppers grow and develop the way they do, it helps to know why plants produce fruits at all. All fruits have seeds, and the primary function of the seed is to ensure the continuation of the species. For this to happen, all plants need to spread their seeds from the mother plant. Their bright colours, fragrances and flavours are designed to attract animals, and us, to find them and eat them. You could even think of the colourful fruit as a kind of transport system for seeds. While the flesh from the fruit can be digested, most seeds pass through the digestive system intact. So through their droppings, the animals scatter the seeds and help to distribute the plants far and wide. Once the seeds finally find their way back into the ground, with the help of the sun and rain, they can start to grow and the life cycle of the plant can begin all over again. Welcome back, children. We hope you enjoyed that. It's fascinating stuff. I thought that peppers were a vegetable, and in fact, they are a fruit. I'm learning something all the time, Rob. Um, I think our children have learned quite a lot as well, but I think it's time to get a few questions for you now, okay. just, to, just to be clear. So let's go over to St John's International School now to see if Miss Underwood's class has any questions for you. How big is the pe biggest pepper you have ever grown? That's a really great question, Noah. So Noah would like to know, Rob, uh, how big is the biggest pepper that has ever been grown, or you've ever grown, should we say? I would say the biggest one I've ever grown is about uh, 270 grams, which is probably about uh, this big. It's know. quite no. big. Yeah. But Did not... you eat it? No, no, you no, didn't? no, 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 no. Did you too take much. Some It's too much for me. <laughs> Did you share it? <laughs> share it, yeah. <laughs> great question, Noah. Let's get another question now from St John's International. How many peppers get planted at your farm every year? Cordelia, that's a great question. So how many um, peppers get planted at um, your farm here every year? Here we've got about uh, uh, 180,000 uh, plants altogether on, on this site. Wow, 180 plants. So that's a lot of peppers, but it'd be quite difficult to count all the peppers, yeah, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, but we're yeah, in yeah. the thousands, aren't we? Yeah, we're we? in the thousands, yeah. Great questions. Let's go over to the Colleton School now to see if Mrs Bosley's class have any questions. When you harvest the peppers, how do you know if they're ripe? Great question, Luke. So when you harvest the peppers, Rob, how do you know when they're ripe? Well, if you see on this uh, plant here, when they're, uh, they're full colour, then we can just pick them off when they're full colour because that's when they're ripe enough. When that's they quite any longer, they'll go soft. That's quite an easy way of telling them, so yeah. you know when they're the right colour. The, the right colour, you can pick them. Oh, so there's no squeezing or any no. technical term, no. technical thing you need to do? Just on the colour. Fabulous, nice and easy then. That's a great question, Luke. Let's get one more question from the Colleton School. This is Freya. Why do bell peppers change into three different colours when they get really ripe? That's a really great question, Freya. So Freya would like to know, why do the peppers turn into different colours when they're ripe, Rob? It's a different varieties. Different varieties of uh, plants uh, change different colours. So you've got some plants that change red, some plants that change yellow, some plants that change orange. Fabulous. So they're not like, um, some, some people think, and I thought, that they may be like, like a traffic light, so the same pepper would turn all these different colours. No, 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 no. It's a different varieties and uh, just one, it'll only change into one other colour. Ah, oh, OK. Great questions there. Um, and don't Mary as well, Downsbrook School and Brumswick House as well. You're going to have a chance to ask Rob some questions later on in the lesson. I think now though, Rob, it's time to uh, take a close look at one of these magnificent plants, if that's okay. No problem. Can we take a look? Yeah. 
Okay, so is this how they start off? This is uh, the plant, uh, the size of plant that we get when we uh, when we plant them. Okay, so you don't grow them here though from seed, do no, you? No, we, we we buy them in as plants. Um, they're coming from Holland. Okay, fantastic. And then you pop them into this amazing kind of like a grow bag, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it, it is a virtually it is a grow bag. Uh, it's just uh, we put it on, on sit it on top, and then we put a, a drip feed in here so that it waters and feeds the plant, and then it allows the roots to come through and penetrate this uh, mat. And then we have plenty of lovely roots there. Wow, that's a lot of roots. the plant roots. alive. <laughs> that's a lot of roots. That's amazing. Okay, so how long would it take for that plant to grow into these huge plants that we have here? Well, we planted this on the first week of uh, January, and uh, already you can see that uh, now is uh, well, May, and we're here. By November, we'll be at the top. Wow, so right to the to the yeah. roof of the yeah. glass house. Yeah. That's fascinating. That's really great stuff. And so I can see as well that the strings attached to the plants that go right up to the ceiling. Is that to help the plant grow? Yeah, it, it stops the plant from falling over and breaking, really. And what we do is we, uh, we take three heads off each plant and then we tie three strings onto it. And then we twist each uh, head around the string all the way to the top. And that supports the plant. It great stops them stuff. from breaking. Oh, lovely, yeah, because the peppers are very heavy as well, aren't yes, they? Yes, they are. Okay, so I can see just looking at one particular plant here that they have so many different things on. So could you talk us through what we can see? Yeah, this is obviously, we've got the head here, and then just below the head, we've got the, the flowers, which is uh, it's about finished now. And just behind this flower, if I pull this away, you can see there's a, a small pepper growing. Wow, and so then that is a pepper that's, that's going to grow into one of those huge That's a pepper peppers. growing. And then after, after about one week, it uh, comes to this size. And then as you go down the plant, you can see after about four or five weeks, we've got this size. Wow, OK. So that's a green pepper. And I know that people do eat green peppers. Would you pick that one for green pepper? Or you can pick it for green if you want, but this particular variety we're picking for orange. So it's a little three weeks, and then uh, we've got a lovely orange pepper like this, which we can, uh, which you can take. Oh, it's so ready you... for picking. Wow, and when it's ready for picking, how do you pick it? Do you pick it by hand? No, we, we pick it by hand, but we obviously use a knife. There's no machines to do it. You just pick it and it comes off. Well, is that because you have to be so gentle? You have to be gentle with them and uh, really look after them. You don't want them to bruise. Yeah, exactly. Wow, so it would take, is it quite time consuming to pick all the peppers? It's a little time consuming, but people get used to it. It's no problem. <laughs> now I'm going to be cheeky here. Do you have someone that works here called Peter? Peter <laughs> Piper? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I'm going to try it, children. I'm sure you're going to be better than me at this, but Peter Piper picked a pecker, pick a pepper. A pecker, pick a pepper, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pecker, pick a pepper, where's a pecker, pick a pepper? Peter Piper pit. Well done. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I put my teeth back in now. <laughs> well done. Fantastic. So people go along here with baskets and yep, um, they go along here with baskets, he runs along here and then we pick all the peppers off and then we send them off to be packed. Lovely. So we've seen the irrigation, uh, which is very important for the plants to grow. Good. There is another very important factor, isn't there, that's just over there, Rob. Yeah, we've got some little helpers here, is our bees. It's a um, beehive and it, uh, it pollinates the plants. It, gives you, it doesn't actually give you more peppers, but it gives you better quality peppers. So it's like little helpers that they, they go around and they pollinate on the plants. Fantastic, lovely. That's one thing I'm learning doing all these online field trips. Now, bees are quite important for, for a lot of growing, aren't they? Yeah, they and are important. Making food yeah. taste really good. Very important. Really good. Well, thank you for showing us the plants. That's fascinating stuff, children, isn't it? Now, we do have an array of, uh, of lovely delights on this table. Now, I'm tempted to call them vegetables, Rob, but I would be wrong, wouldn't I? Yeah, these are all fruits. OK. And why are they called fruits? Because they, uh, they grow up a flower and also because uh, they're uh, full of seeds, as you can see on this uh, aubergine here. You see the little seeds in here? Wow, yes, so really tiny little seeds. Yeah, there's the seeds. Yeah. So that's been grown, it's grown from a flower and then you've got uh, the courgettes. Also, you have little seeds in here. Lovely. Along with the squashes. Maybe show you the squash. Wow, yeah, some nice big seeds in there. So this Bigger makes some seeds. fruit. Yeah, and then there's uh, obviously the tomato. You've got plenty of seeds in the tomato. Everybody Lovely. Everybody knows there's seeds in tomato. Lovely. And one that I didn't realise was a cucumber. We've got a big giant cucumber there. There we yeah. go. And so all these are seeds as well. Yep. 
Yep. And then, of course, peppers with their seeds yep. as well. So all seeds. of these that you can see here, children, where we've got some peppers there, yep. are in fact fruit and not vegetables. I think I've been getting it wrong for a very, very long time, Rob. <laughs> You're not Great the only stuff. one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. OK, it's time for another short video now. And this is all about how these delicious peppers get from here to your local store. Peppers, from farm to fork. Here on this farm, they can grow different varieties of peppers all year round. Because peppers prefer warmer climates than we have here in the United Kingdom, the farmers grow them inside extremely large glasshouses, like this one. This protects them from cold and frost. The crop is first planted in January, when the baby plants are just 30 centimetres tall. They are placed on raised troughs like this and held in place by string to stop them from falling over as they grow towards the sun. In a glass house like this one, up to an amazing 110,000 plants can be grown at any one time. That is enough plants to cover more than six football pitches. The temperature in the glass house is kept between 18 and 25 degrees Celsius. Sunlight, water, a special feed, and added carbon dioxide give the plants everything they need to grow. The pepper plants can grow to be four meters tall and will produce over 60 peppers in their lifetime. All peppers start off as a green fruit and will then begin ripening on the plant to turn either red, yellow, orange, chocolate, or purple, depending on the ripeness and the variety. Most peppers are picked when they have ripened to their more vibrant colour, as they are much sweeter and more popular to eat. It takes five weeks for a green pepper to grow, and a further three weeks for a coloured pepper to be ready and ripe for picking. And they can be harvested from March to November. The peppers are picked by hand and placed into these trolleys. The trolleys are then taken to the pack house. The different coloured peppers are kept separate. They are placed on a conveyor belt and checked for quality. Finally, the peppers are packed into bags, ready for labelling. They are then placed into boxes and sent to a big depot. And it takes just three to four days from picking for them to arrive at your local store, ripe and crunchy and ready for you to buy and enjoy for your dinner. Welcome back. We hope you enjoyed learning all about how these delicious peppers get to your local store ready for you to buy. OK, it's time for some more questions for Rob now, as promised. So let's go to Downsbrook School to see if Mrs Green's class have any questions. My question is, why do peppers grow in different colours? That's a fabulous question, Lewis. So why do peppers grow in different colours, Rob? It's, it's all down to the variety and uh, you've got different varieties that grow different colours. That's a simple solution, really. Fabulous. It's, it's and they, they look great in yeah. salads as well, they look, don't they? They, they <laughs> look really nice. If, if you had one colour, it'd be a boring one. It would be boring, so, yeah. Uh, it's better to have two or three colours. It's, it's, it's an exciting nice. fruit. Yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> great question, Lewis. Let's get another question from Downsbrook. My question is how peppers are harvested. That's a really good question, Olivia. So, Olivia, would like to know how uh, peppers are harvested. They're harvested using a knife um, on, on the stem like this, and we just flick, flick them off. But we, we harvest them twice a week. So, harvest as they change colour, we can go around again and we just keep going around until we've, we've harvested everything. Fabulous. So they're, you, so say they're fresh. you say twice a week, does that take a long time? Because there are so many plants in here. How uh, long we, would it take? We have, uh, we have about eight people working in here, and they're, uh, it takes them. Uh, Twice a week to pick round. Twice a week to pick round, so they keep yeah. going around. They keep going, going around, around. Keep going around. <laughs> yeah. Great stuff. Really great question, Olivia. Let's go over to Brunswick House now to see if you have any questions from Miss Brayford's class. 
one. What was the hottest um, pepper ever yeah. grown? Oh, that's a really good question. What's the largest pepper that's ever grown, Rob? I think it's about 500 grams, something like that, which is quite big. It's, it's certainly big. Yeah. Yeah. Not as not you know not much bigger than the biggest one that you've ever grown. Ah, twice as big. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, you know, they're, they're quite big. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Um, really great question. Let's get one more from Brunswick House. What was the hottest pepper you've ever grown? Wow, that's a really good question. Do you know this, Rob? What is the hottest pepper ever grown? Well, I think it's uh, something like the Scotch bonnet, which is something like a uh, chilli pepper, but it's, uh, it's, it's really, really hot. You wouldn't want to eat it uh, raw. No, no, no. You'd want to maybe cook with C a tiny cookery, bit. Yeah, tiny bit, and you wouldn't want to eat the seeds. No, <laughs> you wouldn't want to eat the seeds. Because it's I mean, very hot. I'm guessing it's just so, so hot, isn't so it? You hot, have to yeah. have a... Yeah. you know the capacity or you have to be used to spicy That's food right. i guess won't yes. you yeah. um great questions children i think it's time that we found out a bit more about how we enjoy eating peppers now rob yeah um so can you talk us through some of the ways that we'll eat them yeah there are various ways that we, we well everybody enjoys peppers you can you can get them pickled like this with uh, some garlic and uh, some uh, herbs and spices in there or you can uh, eat, stuff them take the top off and stuff them oh that looks nice or just a salad and then you've got also your pepper sauces. Fabulous. So that's look just, at that salad, that like it looks so nice. Isn't it? That salad, that's my favourite way of eating peppers because if you imagine, children, if you took all of the, the peppers off out of there, there would be only, I mean, the tomatoes would still look colourful, but that would be it. So yeah. it really does bring a salad yeah. to life. And it I does. like the crunchiness of peppers. It does, yes. Rather than nice. them being yeah. soft as well. Yeah. Um, one thing I'd love to learn, Rob, is the best way to cut a pepper. Um, because there are lots of different ways that you, I guess you can just get a knife and slice it down. But is there a good way of sort of not getting the seeds everywhere? Yeah, you can cut the pepper by just cutting the top off, gently cutting through it. And then be careful mm. not to cut your fingers. And then you can pull the seeds out. Wow, so it's one way of just get, getting all the seeds out yeah. in uh, one you go. Put, you pull most of the seeds out in one go then. And that's a very Fabulous. nice... Uh, so you can pretty much eat all that. Yeah, you can eat it or you can stuff it like this and then put the top back on. Lovely. Like now, Rob, I can see just inside there that you have left a few little seeds. Now, I've always been worried that the seeds are poisonous. I've been told by a couple of people now. Is that true? That's a myth. The, the seeds are not poisonous. They may be a little bit bitter, but they're not, they're not poisonous. There's, there's no harm in the seeds, but you wouldn't want to eat the seeds on the chilli pepper oh, because wow. they're really hot. So someone made that up a long time ago, uh, and I I've been believing it. <laughs> I think they must have done. <laughs> Fabulous. Oh, well, I'll, I'll maybe not worry too much if I have a seed in no. there or two. And children, it's important to remember as well that peppers are good for us. They're low in uh, sugar and fat, and they're a source of vitamin C as well, which gives us a healthy immune system. Which is, uh, which is really good indeed. Uh, we've almost come to the end of this online field trip, I'm afraid. Um, just enough time to go to all of our schools and find out what you've learned. Let's go over to St John's International School first. We learned that pepper seeds aren't poisonous. Fabulous, that's great. So Miss Underwood's class have learned that pepper seeds aren't poisonous. That's good, that's, that's good. That's a really important thing to know. Uh, great learning. Let's go over to the Colleton School now to see um, what Mrs Bosley's class has learned today. I've learned that a pepper is not a vegetable. That's fabulous learning. So um, Mrs. Bose, this class, have learned that a pepper isn't a vegetable. That's good again. Great learning. It's a fruit, yeah. of course. Everybody knows that now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go to Downsbrook School now to see what Mrs. Green's class has learned. I've learned that the seeds are really hot and chilli peppers. That's really good learning. So uh, Mrs. Green's class have learned that the seeds are very hot in chilli peppers. Yes. So they're the yeah. one type of uh, seed you wouldn't want to you try want and to eat. eat. No, no, exactly. A great learning. And let's finally go up to Brunswick House now to see what Miss Brayford's class have learned. Go on, Charlie. I learned how big a pepper could grow. Fantastic. So Charlie in Miss Brayford's class has learned how big a pepper can grow. That's Quite good. big. Yeah. One last question. When they do grow big, um, do they actually lose their flavour? No, no. So That'd when you be, have a big pepper, that would taste nice and sweet? It would taste sweet. the same. It would taste the same. Fabulous. Wow. Yeah. Okay, great learning, children. It's really great to have you all with us today. Um, one last question uh, for you, Rob. What's the best thing about um, growing peppers here? Well, it's a nice environment. It's a good job, and it's, uh, I enjoy it.
Yeah. And it's nice and warm. You don't get, like, ever get cold, do you? No, you don't get cold. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for having You're us welcome. here. We really have learned a lot. I've learned a lot, and I know that the children have learned a lot as well. And um, children, if you'd like to uh, learn all about tasty tomatoes, you can join us on our next online field trip. It will be on the 21st of May and it will be the same time at 1.30. So pop that in your diary and if you'd like to take part in a farm to fork trail, all the details are online on the website and you really can have lots of fun just like the children you can see right now visiting a farm or a participating producer. But from myself and from Rob here in St Albans in a hot glass house, it's goodbye. Goodbye, children. Bye. -bye. Bye. Goodbye, St John's International School. Bye. Goodbye, the Colleton School. Bye. Goodbye, Downsbrook School. Bye. 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 <laughs> and goodbye, Brunswick House. Bye.